Hi, uh, today we will cover uh, thread pool design pattern. Uh, this is a special case of uh, object pool uh, design pattern and I have created separate video for object pool uh, design pattern. If you want to understand about object pool design pattern, please log into my channel and watch uh, object pool design pattern. And uh, this thread pool design pattern has uh, uh, three important uh, components. One is uh, task queue and another one is uh, thread pool other one is uh, completed uh, task queue and uh, this uh, task queue contains uh, task okay uh, the lot of uh, task will be put it in the task queue and uh, thread pool uh, this is responsible for uh, creating and maintaining the threads okay the thread pool uh, will contains a number of threads uh, each thread will uh, take task from the task queue and uh, it it will perform the task once uh, the task is completed by the thread uh, then that uh, task will be sent to the completed task the completed task you can see it in the yellow color and uh, task queue which is uh, marked as blue color uh, so this is not completed task and whatever tasks are uh, performed uh, that are marked as uh, red color okay so the thread pool uh, is responsible for creating the thread each thread in the thread pool will take task from the task queue and perform the task and once uh, the task is uh, completed it will send it to the completed uh, task queue and that then uh, the thread is free so the thread again it will pick uh, some task from the task queue and uh, perform the task okay so until uh, the task uh, queue is empty uh, till then uh, the thread the thread in the thread pool will uh, do that uh, work so once uh, tasks are not there in the task queue then uh, the thread will go to the uh, uh, sleep state or uh, it will uh, terminate okay and uh, the number of threads can be dynamic based on the number of uh, waiting task uh, so what does it mean suppose uh, we have one web server okay and uh, there are some hundred requests are coming so what web server will do is uh, it will create hundred threads to perform the hundred requests and once uh, the task are completed then uh, web server will uh, remove the threads from the thread pool so this is how uh, this thread pool uh, design pattern is working and uh, here you can see uh, a sample thread pool uh, green boxes so this is a thread pool uh, which contains thread uh, the thread is uh, responsible for uh, performing the task so it will take a task from the task queue and it will perform and uh, with the waiting task so this is the waiting task which is marked in blue color that i already explained and whatever uh, tasks are completed by the thread it will send it to the completed uh, task queue so that is this one okay and uh, this is about uh, thread pool design pattern and uh, thanks for watching bye